The new fiscal year begins October 1st, and with it comes a $45 billion sequestration of the Pentagon budget, part of a $500 billion reduction in defense spending over the next decade, as outlined in the 2011 Budget Control Act. U.S. airstrikes against ISIS in northern Iraq have already cost $262.5 million, according to the Pentagon, not to mention the $500 million President Obama has requested to train and equip Syrian rebel forces. Lawmakers are expressing concern that the effects of the Budget Control Act could come into direct conflict with plans to eliminate ISIS. According to Representative Peter King, this is not just, a bomb this is not just bombing a mountainside or securing a dam. This is a war that could go on for another 10, 15 years. And to do that, we're going to have to recalibrate our thinking toward defense and realize that we have to be on a wartime footing when it comes to spending. Joining me for tonight's Q&A is North Carolina Congressman Mark Meadows, who serves on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, thanks for joining me tonight. It's good to be with you. Thanks so much. Well, so this evening, Congress is considering the president's request to arm and train Syrian rebels. The request is for $500 million, as I said, and there is broad support for it among lawmakers. Is it expected? It is expected, it's my understanding, it is expected to be included in the continuing resolution. What's the status on that, and do you think it is likely that it will pass? Well, within the last 24 hours, I, I think it, it will be included in the continuing resolution. It'll be an amendment. It'll be a separate vote that we'll be taking on that. I do expect it to pass, although there are a number of questions uh, among a lot of us that believe that what we need to ad uh, address is the overall national security issues that you mentioned at the, uh, at the top of the program here, and that is, are we funding our military in an adequate manner to make sure that we protect American lives? And, and that's a debate that will continue on after the vote that we anticipate to be this Wednesday. Well, arming the Syrian rebels is, of course, just one half of this, and the other part of this is for instance, um, airstrikes in Iraq, and that also adds to more cost. How are the airstrikes in Iraq being funded right now? Uh, is it by what the administration calls the overseas contingency operations? Well, it's part of the normal appropriations process, and certainly uh, the overseas contingency uh, operation is, is uh, funding what we are doing right now. But also, uh, as Peter King has mentioned, this could go on for a long time. Uh, strategic strikes and, and real commitment to make sure that the enemy is defeated quickly is really what I'm looking for. You know, you got two questions. One is, uh, are Americans and American interest in harm's way? And the answer to that that is yes. The second question, are, is arming the Syrians the best way to defend that? I'm not so sure that you will find the same kind of unanimous support for that. Uh, we train our military. We spend billions of dollars to do that. We need to make sure that they're well funded and well prepared. Well, in long term speaking, if it is like you, Peter King, and seemingly everyone else is saying, if this is going to be a long process, can a campaign like this, one that actually seeks to destroy ISIL, can that actually be achieved if the Pentagon's budget is going to be remain constrained by sequestration? Well, I think the Pentagon's budget obviously needs to be addressed uh, when we talk about national security. What, the problem is once we get to uh, the realization that it is a problem. And I've talked to a number of generals who say that we need to, to look at funding in a number of areas. Uh, once the American people get to that belief factor, it's, it's really too late because the damage has been done. So we need to, to make sure that we control spending in other areas. I'm a fiscal conservative, yet at the same time, we can't do it at the expense of our national security. And we're seeing that ISIL, uh, started out with 1,500 in terms of fighters. Now they're up to some 30,000 fighters. Uh, we need to address it, need to address it in, in real ways, not just with airstrikes, but with uh, strategic deployment of other assets. Congressman, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you so much. It was good being with you. Hillary Clinton's appearance in Iowa this weekend naturally kicked the 2016 will she or won't she speculation into high gear, but it also proved the Democrats may have a problem on their hands. Tara has the details on that after the break.